Who doesn't love a fresh pair of boots? My wife just bought me these Fox Instinct 2 boots for Christmas and I had my first ride in them, so I will be comparing them in this video today against my Tech 10s. Stay tuned. What's up everybody, Greg Hitchko here. Welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are just joining us for the first time, this channel specializes in two-stroke dirt bike builds, how-tos, as well as product reviews. And today, I'm gonna be talking my brand new Fox Instinct 2 boots that my wife bought me for Christmas. Now, I am gonna preface this that I am a long, long time, probably 15-year user of Alpine Stars. Had a pair of Tech 3s, then Tech 7s, then Tech 8s, and then I bought these, my wife actually got these, my Tech 10s, four years ago now. And I've had my eye on the new Fox Instinct Instinct boot. I just had my first ride at, in them at Cahia Creek out in uh, Southern California. And I thought it'd be great for you guys to hear my first time review and wear of these Fox Instinct boots um, compared to me being a long time Alpine Stars wear. So right off the bat, you're gonna notice a four buckle design on the Fox Instinct 2 boot compared to the three buckle design on the Alpine Star Tech 10. Based on the model of Alpine Star, they're gonna come with four or three straps. Three strap design on the Alpine Star. They're two from the outside coming over to the inside. And then the top one goes from the inside out to the outside. Where the Fox boot, they all strap from the inside over to the outside. So a little bit different strapping buckle system there. The Tech 10 has this inner booty design that they've uh, been pretty well known for as well as the Tech 8 boots. The Tech 7s, Tech 3s do not have the inner booty. For me, the inner booty was a really big seller with the Tech 8s and Tech 10s just because I have notoriously weak ankles. Sprained, broken my ankles numerous times on both sides so I really loved and wanted the ankle support of the inner booty. Um, I was a little nervous switching over to the Fox boot now that it doesn't have an inner booty. I was wondering if I actually would need uh, to wear like a lace-up ankle brace that you see like football guys wearing or anything or soccer people wearing and then finally two more things I want to touch upon is the weight and actually the length of the footbed so I weighed each boot out and I weighed the Tech 10 with the inner booty as well and the Tech 10 came out to four pounds 14.9 ounces where the Fox Instinct 2 boot came out to four pounds 9.8 ounces and if I pick them up here for you guys and just compare pair them just in my arms, it's extremely hard to tell and feel that five ounce difference. Um, if you guys can feel that, good on you, but they feel the same just holding them like this. But that is not the case about how they actually feel when I'm wearing them out on the track or just walking around the pit. So the last thing was the length of the foot bag here. And what most people don't realize with the Tech 10 is that because of the inner booty here, the length of the boot in general just needs to be a little bit bigger to accommodate getting this boot little booty inside the boot with your foot as well. The Fox boot is actually slightly shorter, not as long as the Alpine Star Tech 10. I lined up the boots as best I could where I thought the heel would contact in the same spot. Got my ruler out with this Allen wrench here and you can see that the Tech 10 is roughly about, I don't know, eyeballing a half an inch longer than the Fox Instinct 2 boot. I was curious about how that was gonna feel. You know, my controls with the uh, brake pedal as well as shifting. So let's get into how they felt on the track. My first impression of slipping my foot into the Fox Instinct 2 boots. It was really nice not to have to struggle with the inner booty. So the Tech 10s, the way I found out that works best for me is putting the inner booty in the boot first and then trying to force my foot in there. You gotta really try to open up the boot. Over time, it just gets really annoying having to do that every single time you put on your boots. So with the Fox boots, not having the inner booty, I actually loved it a lot. When I put the boots on and buckled them up, they honestly, they felt like slippers. Compared to the Tech 10s, um, it almost didn't feel like I was wearing motocross boots. When I was walking around, it, it they're just really comfortable compared to the Tech 10. With the Tech 10s, you feel 
like you're, you're wearing boots. What I also felt too was how flexible the Instinct 2 boot was compared to the Tech 10. These Tech 10s are stiff as boards when you first get them. And four years down the road, my Tech 10s are still really stiff compared to how the Instinct boots feel brand new out of the box. I voiced my concern with you guys about the ankle support of the Fox boot. I'm a pretty tall and big guy to ride dirt bike, 6'3", about 195, probably 200 pounds with all my gear on so it took a little bit even with the tech tens to break these in but you guys know when you always use the same thing you just get accustomed to that feeling of the boot so the ankle support was never really a question and actually felt like I wanted more ankle support with the tech 10 just because I got so used to them so as the more I wear the Fox Instinct 2 boot I'm curious about how that is gonna feel as well but with my first ride with the Fox Instinct 2 boot I was actually surprised that I wasn't looking for that extra ankle support what I liked about it is how you were able to move your foot around on the pegs and feel the controls, the foot peg to the brake pedal, the foot peg to the shifter. I actually did miss a shift or two on the left foot because I was so used to uh, my foot position with the Alpine Star Tech 10s and just that extra little half inch does play a big role in that whole shifting motion. But overall, I felt instantly comfortable on the Instinct 2. There was absolutely zero break in time compared to the Tech 10. When I first started with the Tech 10, I noticed them on my feet like I said earlier it was a struggle to get my foot from the peg to the shifter I just felt like your boot and leg had to move as one where the flexion of the Fox boot made it so simple to get to the controls without any issues to go along with that I loved how connected the boots felt to the bike now on the inside of the Fox boot there actually is a nice rubber like material where the Tech 10 is a little bit more plastic like. So when I was gripping the bike with my legs, I didn't feel like I was moving around with the Fox boot as much as I did compared to the Tech 10. So I really enjoyed that. Um, the footbed was also really sticky on the Fox boot as well. The bottom of the Tech 10 feels more of a harder plastic compared to the more rubbery compound. I mean, this kind of feels like a tire underneath your feet. So imagine that connecting a tire to the foot peg. Um, it just felt awesome out there. But like with anything, you just really get accustomed to the way things feel and how the way things operate. And that's what it was like with my Tech 10s. Over time, I just got used to it. and. Um, I didn't know any different because I never actually had another brand of boots. So when I first put these Fox boots on, in terms of rideability, raceability, um, more of a sportsman-like boot, this felt like it. Um, I'm curious about how the ankle support, like I said, is going to hold up over time compared to the Tech 10, um, whether I'm gonna need that ankle brace or not. It didn't really have huge um, impacts on big jumps because it was muddy and I really wasn't jumping huge jumps. So in that aspect, I didn't feel the need for more ankle support. But my review, if you're looking for more control of the motorcycle and better feel, the Fox Instinct boot is gonna be that boot compared to the Tech 10. If you're looking for something more stiff, more support, the Tech 10 is gonna be your answer. Um, I both. I love both of these boots. I'm not gonna get rid of the Tech 10s, um, but the Fox boots are definitely gonna be my main boot just because like I said, they feel way more sporty and I just have more control of the motorcycle underneath me. So most likely, depending on the type of riding you do, is gonna depend on how long this boot is gonna last. If you're more of an off-road rider, single track, enduro, a lot of rocks, stumps, roots, your boots are gonna get beat up a lot faster and quicker than those guys of motocross. So I use these for a combination uh, road motocross as well as single track and an enduro desert riding and um, these boots got their fair share of wear. So the first thing I wanted to note was obviously you guys see here that on my right Alpine Star Tech 10 boot, the front patch here, the, the shin plate actually ripped off. Um, the stitching and the screws here just completely came off probably two years into me having the boot. On the right boot as well, um, I had a 2016 FC 450, and the way the, the mid pipe goes on that right side of the bike, from me gripping the bike, the pipe actually burnt through the plastic and burnt a hole in my boot. So what I did was I was able to send the boots back to Alpine Stars. They stitched this new rubber piece here. Uh, kind of looks ugly, but it definitely held up 
to uh, the wear and tear. Looking underneath, there's a chunk where the foot pegs go. So I do believe that the Alpine Stars are going to hold up a lot better underneath. But again, it's the type of conditions that you ride and how often you actually ride. Then comparing my first ride with the Fox boots here, underneath shows no sign of wear from the foot peg, but I mean, how could you with one ride on it? Where the ankle contacts the frame, you can see this little whole rubber piece here where the hinge is. On the bottom, it's more of a plastic type feel, and on the top, it's more rubber. And the bottom plastic here started wearing a little bit just from me gripping the bike, so I guess that's a good thing. I confirmed I gripped the bike with my legs, which is good on me, but um, after one ride, the boots are already showing wear. A little bit of scuffing here by where the shifter is, but they're motocross boots. They're gonna get, they're gonna get banged up. On the right side of the boot, it's actually a little bit worse where um, this rubber piece is. The plastic part um, wore off way more than the left side, so I must grip the bike with my right leg more than my left leg. I'm gonna have to keep you guys posted on the durability aspect of the Fox Instinct 2 boots as I ride with them more down the road, um, how they hold up to the wear and tear. But I'm gonna flip it over to you guys. If you guys have experience with uh, both of these boots, the Fox Instinct 2 boots compared to the Alpine Star Tech 10s or maybe the Tech 7s, um, let us know below because the people who are shopping around for these boots, uh, it's helpful for them to read the comments as well as watch the video. They're able to make a better educated a decision on what works best for them. So leave a comment below for me guys. And if you guys are interested in these boots themselves, head over to Rocky Mountain ATV MC. They're a huge supporter of this channel. Um, I've linked both of the boots in my description below. When you guys click on that link, it simply supports me directly. So as always, thank you guys for doing that. But that's gonna be a wrap here guys. My first ride review on the Fox Instinct 2 boots compared to the Alpine Star Tech 10s. As always, we say, ride hard, be safe, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.